The call is about to be everybody's brand new favourite rocket sidearm, so chuck that indebted kindness in the bin and let me show you why it's so good. In return, maybe drop a like and leave a sub so you can come back next time for some more helpful Destiny 2 content and maybe also tell a friend as well. This is the new Special Ammo Strand Rocket Assisted Frame Sidearm, which is only the second ever of this archetype. Now the Indebted Kindness was the first one and it was mega popular for a number of reasons. Now that is the ARC Rocket Assisted Frame Sidearm, which comes with Vault Shot and Lead from Gold, so basically it had infinite ammo uptime and the jolting and chain lightning capabilities from Vault Shot made it absolutely deadly in tons of content let alone end game content because of the just insane ad clearing potential and because these sidearms are special ammo weapons then they hit like an absolute truck as well the indebted kindness really did set a standard for the rocket assisted frame sidearms and so i think the call really does have a high standard to live up to but I think it does live up to it, so let's break it down and find out why and which perks you need to be getting on this new sidearm. Now this is a strand special weapon so it does sit in that kinetic slot so it does open up your loadout to allow you to have one of these rocket assisted frames in either slot depending on what weapons you want to use and then obviously it opens you up to using some of your favourite energy weapons, sunshot, graviton lance, all that good stuff still doing absolute bits in the sandbox in the final shape and then now you can pair that with one of what is probably one of the best archetypes of special weapons in the game at the minute with these rocket assisted frame sidearms. Been messing around with a few of these that I've dropped from the final shape campaign missions. I got one with lead from gold and desperate measures and also one with slice and vorpal weapon and to be fair not my favourite godliest of god rolls but these perks and these combos do actually work really nicely together so I just wanted to break down why this this sidearm specifically is so good and I think it all starts with the origin trait. Now the origin trait is dealer's choice, so final bows with this weapon grant a small amount of super energy, equipping multiple weapons from the pale heart increases this effect. To be fair, the pale heart weapons do look absolutely cracked and I reckon if you are running two of these which I think people probably will be once the no hesitation support frame or, or rifle starts doing the rounds as well then that paired with the call is going to be a really solid and really viable loadout for a number of reasons and I think them two weapons specifically do have some excellent synergy together not only because of the archetypes of the weapons but I think also with prismatic and obviously getting that transcendence bar filled up so that you can use the boosted grenade ability get that 5% damage boost going and also that damage resistance. Where I am going with this, obviously the No Hesitations is a support frame and that one's all based on getting you restoration, healing allies and dishing out extra damage. Now where I think the call comes into this and what perks I think you should be looking at is the main ones that are going to give you some mad synergy not just with Strand itself but like I say with that Prismatic subclass as well. The main perk that I think you want to be looking for in that third column hands down has to be Slice. Now I know a lot of people will be going for Lead from Gold because of the ammo economy potential from it but bear with me on this one because I think that Slice has standout potential on the call. The main reason for that is because of like I say that synergy with the no hesitations auto rifle. Now Slice gives you the ability to sever targets on hit for a brief duration after using your class ability. Now sever is a really really strong strand subclass debuff and basically it's going to give your enemies a 40% damage reduction so that they're going to basically be dealing 40% less damage to you and so effectively with your high recovery build, your high resilience build, then it makes a ton of enemies in the game and end game content just basically tickle you. If you've got devour going, if you've got restoration going, if you're in a healing rift or, or any of that good stuff, then slice is going to add on top of that and it's going to make you like 
basically a literal tank at that point. Now if you are running a strand subclass then you can increase the duration of this sever effect by using the thread of continuity and that's just going to increase the duration of that effect. Now with slice you can effectively hit five separate targets to sever them and so it does really have a ton of uptime potential and that's why I think you probably want to look at this perk over lead from gold. Now if we are going with that strand subclass synergy then I think in that final column you really want to be looking at pairing it with hatchling. Now hatchling is going to effectively allow this weapon to spawn a bunch of fredlings pretty much near on indefinitely and because of the heavy hitting nature of this strand sidearm and the excellent ammo economy that these things generally have then you really are going to be creating a ton of fredlings and then if you're boosting that with your strand subclass and using the thread of evolution then you're effectively going to be increasing the damage of these fredlings by 33% and you're also going to make them travel a little bit further a little bit faster and then if you're running your warlock and you're using something like the swarmers these fredlings are also going to unravel targets you're going to be then sending unraveling threads to nearby enemies and effectively just creating massive damage over time massive area of effect damage and the call sidearm with that combination of slice and hatchling is going to be a really potent a really really potent sidearm for a ton of content in destiny 2 at the minute within the final shape. Now if you don't want to go down that route with strand subclass synergy then you don't have to. Remember that these two perks work regardless of whether you're using your strand subclass or not. Like I say you can boost the effectiveness of both of these perks but if you want to use your solo subclass, if you want to use your stasis subclass, if you want to pair them with prismatic these perks will still work. You'll still get that 40% damage reduction. You'll still create fredlings and I think this sidearm really does open it up for a ton of viability in end game content. Remember we've also got the artifact this season which is, which is going to allow you to use this sidearm to deal with unstoppable champions so I really think that you need to tie one of these sidearms down. Now once you do craft this one then I do highly recommend that you probably want to look at getting that slice and hatchling roll but then in terms of perks in the first column with the barrel and magazine options then I don't think you can go far wrong with hard launch or maybe even quick launch and then in the magazine options option then I think tactical mag really is the way to go because at the minute the best mod that everyone is using basically is a backup mag because that's going to boost your magazine size you're going to get 15 rounds in the mag you're going to get some nice stat boosts and then along with a range master work then it's just going to make it a little bit stickier at range and dealing with them enemies a little bit further away but all in all I think the call rocket assisted frame strand sidearm is an absolute beast this season and I hope you enjoyed this god roll breakdown of this weapon. Remember to drop a like and leave a sub so that you can come back next time for some more helpful Destiny 2 content. Your ongoing support is massively appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this video and you're now ready to check out this new final shape build breakdown video next.